Hey, what's up guys? We're in the middle of a coaching session and uh, we had somebody bring a form video. And so I just wanted to go over it um, so we can show it on YouTube. Uh, let's take a look at his form here. Now, yeah. now uh, let's just grab a quick look at slow motion so we can see what's going on here. It looks like he is stutter stepping at the beginning. Uh, it's hard to really tell, but if he is stutter stepping, he needs to stop it. <laughs> So you can see he's taking a little bit further step, penultimate step, but look at his plant right there. Uh, you can see that his plant, now let's switch to a different video, to a different still screen. See how he's leaning backwards on his plant? And if he extends his knee at this point, he'll be kind of sending himself backwards. Um, so if he was actually directly over his foot, he could pop himself straight up. So that's kind of slowing him down and giving him the wrong type of leverage. So you can see that red line and that green line. So uh, for everybody out there, you don't want to reach for it. That could cause your knee to wobble, it will break your velocity, and it will just overall uh, slow you down and not give you the proper leverage. Um, so here he is going through the jump. Uh, he has a decent arm swing, but he could uh, he could still improve his arm swing. See his arms come back and then swing through, but he could exaggerate that a little more, but it's really not bad. Let's watch it one more time in slow motion. Uh, let's just grab a look at this uh, so we can take a look. Um, we can see here I've overlaid each one of his jumps. and The red line, as you see here, is the distance of his second to last step and the green line is his last step and so you can see his red line is just a little bit longer uh, you, so he's kind of naturally doing a penultimate step and uh, the green line is his last step so you can see up here that it's just a little bit longer and that will increase as his speed increases uh, which is one of the main things that he needs to work on so as he uh, as he comes into his jump he really needs to try and get a higher controlled velocity. That means he needs to be getting to the highest speed he possibly can without getting out of control. So that means accelerating faster, accelerating into the jump, uh, stepping directly underneath him, and, uh, and popping up. So that is how that needs to go. Let's just go over a few bullet points of the things that we covered in this particular video. Uh, increase the approach, approach, there needs to be an O in there. Uh, increase the approach uh, of the acceleration and the top speed. So find that maximum control velocity that you can get your highest velocity possible. Uh, the higher velocity, the more you're going to be able to transfer into your vertical leap. Uh, and so once you find that, try and increase it uh, by trying to increase the speed on every approach. Uh, plant directly underneath. Uh, don't wait for it. Don't get anxious and reach. It will slow you down. It will give you improper leverage to pop yourself directly upwards. Uh, so, so doing that is, is just going to not be a good transfer of the momentum. Uh, remove your stutter step at the beginning if you have one. I couldn't really tell if you had one. So if that's something that you do have, remove it. And then your penultimate distance is probably going to increase a little bit. It's probably not even something you need to uh, really try too hard to do. Right now, focus on increasing your velocity and your acceleration. And we can see uh, what your penultimate step looks like. Again, your second to last step uh, should be a little bit lengthened, which drops your body and puts you in a position to explode upwards. And that should also be done uh, at a high, high speed. So hope that helps you in your jump and anybody else who uh, maybe has a similar video. These are the type of videos you need to bring to your coaching sessions. And uh, just about anybody who is coaching, well, anybody who is, a co who is in the coaching program can schedule a coaching session and you can become a coaching member by going to jumpmanual.com slash coaching.html. So if you go there, you can then become a coaching member and we can look at your workout videos, uh, your two foot jumping form, your one foot jumping form, everything and go over all your stuff individually. So uh, we'll talk to you all soon. Bye bye.